Good morning everyone. Welcome to Economic Interpretation. Today we are going to discuss today 18 June 2021 current affairs. You can join our telegram group and download the link of this video's PDF. So let's start from today our first question. Which platform launch report it don't share it initiative? Now recently Facebook launched uh, report it don't share it initiative and by this initiative of Facebook we can report any uh, sexual abuse or child abuse or hate speech content to some uh, contact number which is given by Facebook so Facebook actually um, start a helpline or help desk for this type of post uh, which are irrelevant uh, for Facebook or their policy now uh, Facebook launched this initiative with the help of Aram Indian Initiative, Cyber Peace Foundation and Urban. So Facebook collaborated with this institute and launched a reported Don't Share It initiative. Uh, Chief Executive Officer of Facebook, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Facebook and its headquarters, California, US. Now go to our next question. Which IIT hosting a three-day virtual conference of BRICS network universities? Now the answer is IIT Bombay hosting these three days virtual conference of BRICS network universities. And the theme of this year is electric mobility. And this conference being held as a part of Indian Championship uh, of 13th BRICS Summit 2021. In 2021, it is 13th BRICS Summit. And this event will see 18 experts from Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, and around 100 students and researchers and faculties from BRICS network universities of five member countries will participate in this conference. So, go to our next question RBI allow prepaid mobile recharge through which payment gateway now recently RBI allow Bharat bill limited for prepaid mobile recharge and Bharat bill which is operated by National Payment Corporation of India so under National Payment Corporation of India Bharat bill works and BPPS Bharat bill payment system started 2014 as a platform for repeated bill payments so it's uh, started 2014 and national payment corporation of india mdn ceo dilip asbe and its headquarter located at mumbai and national payment corporation of india found 2008 now go to our next question our next question recently which state government has started juba sokti corona mukti Ovijan? Now, the Juba Sukti Corona Mukti Vision recently started by the Madhya Pradesh government, and the main motto of this initiative is to our the young generation or youth uh, regarding the vaccination program or some rules and regulation for Corona. Uh, in the Juba Sukti Corona Mukti Vision, college teachers uh, are and around uh, 16 lakh will be made aware of Corona infection by learning COVID appropriate behave and vaccination and also a mobile app launch for this uh, initiative and by which uh, so many people can gather and download this app and ever about this corona disease now some information about Madhya Pradesh capital of Madhya Pradesh Bhopal and population 7.33 crore according to 2012 data and chief minister Sibraj Singh Chauhan now go to our next question our next question we observe world elder abuse awareness day on which date so the correct answer 15 june so 15 june we observed world elder abuse awareness day and the main motto of, uh, for observe this day is to not abuse elder people in our society and this year the theme of this program is access to justice so the theme is important access to justice uh, today's uh, to uh, in this year 
and elder abuse earnest is theme and this day came into existence in june 2006 first uh, and a request in june 15 made for this special day for elders and in 2011 it is recognized by unga united nations general assembly now go to our next question which platform has lost immunity in india as it failed to appoint it statutory officer as required by the new it rules of the government so the answer is twitter recently twitter lost immunity in india mean legal protection in india and the new it rule first announced by the government in february in 2021 february new it rule announced and all ott platforms like facebook google netflix whatsapp amazon prime those are also in in under this new it rules and the new it rule says that all those companies appoint a chief compliance officer or nodal officer or a grievance officer in the country and the rule started the and the rule says that the three officers should be indians and employee of the companies now some information about twitter twitter founded in 21 march 2006 in san francisco california united states headquarter also in san francisco california united states and the founder of twitter jack dorsey now go to our next question which state government has launched a program rev up the answer is telangana Telangana government uh, started this uh, start this program rave up for startups or artificial intelligent health startup this uh, this program uh, help all uh, artificial intelligent based startup and also for other startup direct or indirectly and Telangana artificial intelligent mission launched a rave up acceleration program powered by NASCOM and the full form of NASCOM, the National Association of Software and Service Companies and some information about Telangana government, uh, the capital of Telangana, Hyderabad and the governor Tamil Isai Sondar Rajan is the government of Telangana and the population 3.5 to crore according to uh, 1st March 2021 and found its uh, 2nd June 2014, it's a young, young, young state in India and Chief Minister K. Chandrasekhar Rao. Now go to our next question. Which two countries has signed free trade agreement FTA recently? Now recently in G7 summit in Britain, UK and Australia signed free trade agreement between them and the main motto of this free trade agreement is to reduce the barrier, trade barrier like uh, import export duties or tariff between those two countries the free trade agreement means it was cost less for british business to sell product like car scotch whiskey and conferences and into australia and uh, the uk government said twisted so it is announced on twisted in g7 summit and as there is free trade um, the more trade happen between those two countries and economy will boost naturally the move will boost UK's industries, the employee of 3.5 million people across the country. It's also added by those two countries' president. And UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson said that deal was a new dawn for UK and Australian relationship. Now go to our next question. According to the government of India, gold hallmarking has been made mandatory in India from which state? Now, Government of India announced from 16 June 2021, Hallmarks is mandatory in gold jeweler and without Hallmarks, the value of the gold is insignificant and the Ministry of Consumer Affairs put public distribution announced via press release uh, 15 June 2021. So, Ministry of Consumer Affairs and uh, food and public distribution announced this uh, in June 15, 2021. And the mandatory hallmark of gold provides surety of the purity of the yellow metal, mean gold, we call it gold as yellow metal. And at present, only 30% of Indian gold jewelry is, is hallmarked. So it's uh, too low in India. Only 30% of total gold in India is hallmarked. Uh, ministry release state. Uh, this data is from ministry. Now go to our next question. 
so our next question who has been appointed as chairperson of gravian's redressal body for ott platforms by internet so the correct answer arjun kumar sikri appointed as gravian's redressal body for ott platforms by internet now arjun kumar sikri is a former supreme court judge and the dpcgc digital publisher content gravians count has 40 publisher of online current content as member so dpcgc has currently 40 members uh, which include amazon prime video apple book my show uh, eros news firework tv hoy choy hangama netflix mx player and the orun kumar sikri the former supreme court judge now appointed as chairperson of this dpcgc platform now go to our next question which day we celebrate as combat D- desertification and drought wdcdd now 17 june we celebrate as combat desertification and drought and this year the focus on turning degraded land into healthy land so which land is not fertilized for agriculture we convert this type of land into healthy land and make it useful for human being and the main theme in this year history and significance so the theme also important this type of question so the theme of the world day combat and distribution and drought 2021 restoration land recovery and we build back better with healthy land now go to our next question who named as chairman in microsoft succeeded john thompson so the answer is sotya nadella sotya nadella named as chairperson in microsoft and uh, he succeeded john thompson so john thompson is present chairperson of microsoft um, but in future sotya nadella become the chairperson in microsoft also sotya nadella ceo of microsoft now she gain another position in microsoft as a chairman now some information about microsoft microsoft ceo sotya nadella named as chairperson succeeded john thompson and it founded 4th april 1975 and it founded in new mexico and it's headquartered in washington united states and its founder uh, founders bill gates and paul allen now go to our next question recently in which state raja parva this is the name of a festival celebrated so the raja parva festival celebrated in odisha and this festival is related to women power or festival of womanhood also known as the festival of womanhood and it celebrated in odisha the odisha society eva we celebrate global raja parva 2021 through a virtual platform so uh, due to corona and lockdown situation this festival celebrated in online platform and this is a three days long festival to celebrate womanhood and odisha settled in two, uh, over 21 countries attend the virtual event uh, 21 countries members actually attend this event and cheerized odisha's rich art and culture so in this event also odisha rich art and culture also celebrated now some information about odisha governor of governor of odisha ganeshilal and the capital is bhubaneswar population 4.37 crores according to 2014 data and chief minister navin patnaik now go to our next question which country has addressed even high level dialogue on desertification land degradation and drought 2021 uh, so the country india from india narendra modi addressed those point in g7 summit britain and uh, the main motto of this issue to stop desertification we have to stop desertification and land degradation that mean uh, 
convert the land which are not too much fertilized for agriculture to them in fertilized land and uh, there is some information about UN the headquarter of UN in New York United States and founded 20 October 1945 San Francisco California and Secretary General Antonio Castres now go to next question in which country world third largest diamond found so recently in Bosta Botswana so in Botswana uh, world's third largest diamond found and uh, scientists guessed it may be world's large third uh, it's maybe world la third largest diamond and this is actually 1098 carat So according to the news, a huge diamond weighted more than uh, thousand, uh, 100 carat, which could be the third largest mine in history, has been discovered in Southern African country, Bostawana. And the 1098 carat stone believed to be the third largest gym quality diamond. The quality of the diamond name gym quality even found was presented to President Mogwith Messis on Wednesday. So the diamond is present to president of the country. Now the some information about Botswana, its capital Gaborne and currency Postwana Pula and president Mok Gutsi Masis and population twenty three lakh in two thousand nineteen according to World Bank data. So that's from today. If uh, you like this video, you can like, share and subscribe to our channel and you can join our telegram group and download the PDF of this lecture. Thank you.